कृष्ण हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा कृष्ण चंद्र राधा कृष्ण चंद्र राधे जय कृष्ण बलराम कृष्ण बलराम कृष्ण बलराम जय कृष्ण बलराम जय निताय गौरांग निताय गौरांग निताय गौरांग जय निताय गौरांग जय प्रहलाद नरसिंह प्रहलाद नरसिंह प्रहलाद नरसिंह जय सुदर्शना जय जय प्रभु पास प्रभु पास प्रभु पास जय श्रीरा प्रभु पास 
जय विष्णु पाद परम हंस परिव्रज कचार्य अष्टोत्तर शत श्री श्री मधिस डिवाइन ग्रेस अभय चरणारविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी प्रभुपाद की जय जय विष्णु पाद परम हंस नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर महाराज की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय नामचार्य शील हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासादि गौर भक्त वृंद की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड गिरी गोवर्धन की जय मथुरा वृंदावन धाम की जय नवद्वीप मायापुर धाम की जय जगन्नाथपुरी क्षेत्र की जय गंगा माई यमुना माई की जय वृंद देवी तुलसी महारानी की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण चंद्र की जय श्री श्री कृष्ण बल राम की जय श्री श्री निताय गौरांग की जय श्री श्री प्रहलाद नरसिंह देव की जय श्री श्री सुदर्शन भगवान की जय हरि नाम संकीर्तन यज्ञ की जय समवेत गौर भक्त वृंद की जय ऑल ग्लोरी टू द सेम्बल डिवोटीज ऑल ग्लोरी टू द सेम्बल डिवोटीज All glories to the symbol devotees All glories to Guru and Gauranga All glories to Sri La Prabhupada Grantra Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नर नरोत्तमम् देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर नष्ट प्राएद्रेश भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तमा श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्टिकी रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम फर्स्ट कैंटो थर्ड चैप्टर टेक्स्ट नंबर फोर्टी थ्री टुडे वी हैव a special class that is why we are taking a different verse from the regular verses we were discussing there is no internet today here wifi poke first floor 5g or poke first floor what is possible
धर्म ज्ञानादि भी सह धर्म ज्ञानादि भी सह कल नष्ट दृशा एष कल नष्ट दृशा मेष पुराणार्को अधुनोदित पुराणार्को धुनोदि कृष्ण स्वधामोपगते धर्म ज्ञानादि सह कल नष्ट दृशा मेष पुराणार्को धुनोदि कृष्ण स्वधामोपगते धर्म ज्ञानादि सह कल नष्ट दृशा मेष पुराणार्को धुनोदि कृष्ण स्वधामोपगते धर्म ज्ञानादि सह कल नष्ट दृशा मेष पुराणार्को धुनोदि कृष्ण स्वधामोपगते धर्म ज्ञानादि सह कल नष्ट दृशा मेष पुराणार्को धुनोदि कृष्ण इन कृष्णाज स्वधाम ओ न बोर्ड उपगते हैविंग रिटर्न धर्म रिलीजन ज्ञान नॉलेज आदि भी कंबाइन टुगेदर सह अलोंग विद कल इन द कल योगा नष्ट दृशा ऑफ पर्सन हु हैव लॉस्ट द साइट ए शह ऑल दीज पुराण अर्क द पुराण विच इज ब्रिलियंट लाइक द सन अधुना जस नाव उदित has arisen translation and purport by his divine grace ac bhakti vedan swami prabhu pa translation this bhagavat puran is as brilliant as the sun and it has arisen just after the departure of lord krishna to his own abode accompanied by religion knowledge etc persons who have lost their vision due to the dense darkness of ignorance in the age of kali shall get light from this purana please repeat this bhagavat puran is, is as brilliant as the sun and it has arisen just after the departure of lord krishna to his own abode accompanied by religion knowledge etc persons who have lost their vision due to the dense darkness of ignorance in the age of kali shall get light from this puran purport lord shri krishna has his eternal dham or abode where he eternally enjoys himself with his external associates and paraphernalia and his eternal abode is a manifestation of his internal energy whereas the material world is a manifestation of his external energy when he descends on the material world he displays himself with all paraphernalia in his internal potency which is called atma maya 
In the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says that He descends by His own potency, Atma Maya. His form, name, fame, paraphernalia, abode, etc., are not therefore creations of matter. He descends to reclaim the fallen souls and to re establish codes of religion, which are directly enacted by Him. Except for God, no one can establish the principles of religion. Either He or a suitable person empowered by Him can dictate the codes of religion. Real religion means to know God, our relation with Him, and our duties in relation with Him, and to know ultimately our destination after leaving this material body. The conditioned souls who are entrapped by the material energy hardly know all these principles of life. Most of them are like animals, engaged in eating, sleeping, fearing, and mating. They are mostly engaged in sense enjoyment under the pretension of religiosity, knowledge, or salvation. They are still more blind in the present age of Koral or Kali Yoga. In the Kali Yoga, the population is just a royal edition of the animals. They have nothing to do with spiritual knowledge or godly religious life. They are so blind that they cannot see anything beyond the jurisdiction of the subtle mind, intelligence or ego. But they are very much proud of their advancement in knowledge, science and material prosperity. They can risk their lives to become a dog or hog just after leaving the present body. For they have completely lost sight of the ultimate aim of life. The personality of God as Shri Krishna appeared before us just a little prior to the beginning of Kali Yuga, and he returned to his eternal home practically at the commencement of Kali Yuga. While he was present, he exhibited everything by his different activities. He spoke the Bhagavad Gita specifically to eradicate all pretentious principles of religiosity. And prior to his departure from this material world, he empowered Sri Vyasadev through Narad to compile the messages of the Srimad Bhagavatam. And thus both the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam are like torch bearers for the blind people of this age. In other words, if men in this age of Kali want to see the real light of life, they must take to these two books only and the aim of life will be fulfilled. Bhagavad Gita is a preliminary study of the Bhagavatam and Srimad Bhagavatam is the Samambonam of life. Lord Sri Krishna personified. We must therefore accept Srimad Bhagavatam as the direct representation of Lord Krishna. One who can see Srimad Bhagavatam can see also Lord Sri Krishna in person. They are identical. The sense the Bhaktivedanta purport. Om Agyanati Mirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Preshtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Desha Tarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Lord Krishna has got various incarnations which are always present everywhere. And the purpose of Lord Krishna's incarnation is Dharma Sansthapanarthai Sambhavami Yoga Yoga to re establish the principles of religion. Religion means the codes which are given by God so that we can come to platform of knowledge. All the suffering of this world is only because of ignorance. There is no other reason. Nashta Drisham. 
when people are blinded because of ignorance that causes suffering in our life there is no other cause of suffering in our life as there was tremendous suffering in the country last week <laughs> the people were crying and some people they lost their lives also at least 3 of them reportedly two of them hung themselves and one person he slept did not wake up at all <laughs> got a heart attack <laughs> so it's very distressing to see what is the situation with the world so some people may laugh why these people are in distress that simply because one match has been lost and they have taken it so seriously that they are committing suicide and people are getting heart attacks and people are crying <laughs> for 3 days 4 days they are crying <laughs> so yesterday again i was talking to a boy aap hi ke friend टोल मैच देखा था यस प्रभु ऐसा बोले क्या सारा बोलता प्रभु बहुत रोया मैं आई क्राइड लाइक एनी थिंग सो व्हाट इज द रीजन मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट पीपल सपोज टू बी मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट व्हाई दे आर आल्सो क्राइंग so that is why arjuna also was in great distress on the battlefield so much distress that he is telling my skin is burning my limbs are quivering my voice is choking up i cannot stand any longer and what was krishna doing prasanna he was smiling in the midst of armies <laughs> so arjuna is having panic attack on the other hand krishna is smiling <laughs> so that is why we see just like there is no reason some of us are smiling that how somebody can be so foolish that they can lose their lives so all this is because of identification people think i am belonging to some nation if this nation loses a simple cricket match i have lost everything <laughs> so they are not able to understand similarly all the problems of life are simply because of identification punsa striya mithuni bhava metam tayor mitho hriday granthi mahu any way person is illusion in illusion when one is born but when they get attracted to opposite sex there is a strong knot which is established in the heart this called mithuni bhavam and once this strong knot is established in the heart because of sex pleasure then what happens the knot becomes very very strong in this world janasya mohoyam aham mameti then moha illusion comes out of it any intoxication produces illusion so this intoxication produces an illusion moha which illusion it produces aham mameti that i am this body and anything which is in connection with body belongs to me if a cashier starts thinking the money which has come to the counter belongs to me if he takes it he will suffer if money does not come he will cry that money anyway does not belong to him <laughs> but he will cry if money has not come if more money comes he will become happy so ideally if a cashier is in knowledge he knows this money does not belong to me i have no connection with this money except i am in charge of taking good care of it so that i can give it to bank that is the understanding of a sane human being whatever resources he has got manasa deho geho jo kichu mora as it is told by the vaishnava acharyas whatever apparently belongs to me manasa deha geha my mind my house my family whatever so called you can say it belongs to me i offer everything to you so cashier offers everything to bank whatever money he has got but unfortunately because of this illusion which is created out of mithuni bhavam association with the opposite sex what happens strong illusion is generated it becomes impossible to understand that i am not the body person gets bewildered illusioned 
and then because of this illusion one starts thinking i am this body some people belong to me some place belongs to me if my house gets demolished i become sad if the body gets demolished i become sad if the body of people gets demolished why think because of they belong to me i get sad but there is no reason of any sadness or any happiness in this material world any kind of affection or repulsion happens by the influence of material energy and if you want liberation in life then we need to practice not getting attracted or repulsed by anything at the same time one should practice remaining indifferent to all the activities of the material nature this practice has to be done if i go away or if i get attracted then i am getting influenced by the material energy so that is why neutrality has to be practiced one who is able to practice this neutrality so amritatvai kalpate he becomes eligible to attain liberation so in order to bring people to this platform of knowledge to come out of this moha or illusion is the purpose of lord krishna's descent here so when lord krishna came here so the people did not die everyone got liberated entire universe got liberated that is mercy of lord krishna similarly lord krishna has incarnated now in this age kali yuga which began after lord krishna departed to his own planet lord krishna is present everywhere by his impersonal energies but personally also is present in his own abode always so when krishna went back to his own abode swadham upagate krishna has got a place where he is living always so now that he has gone back and the religion and knowledge also has gone with him who will give knowledge to the people in kali yuga and especially as it is mentioned here people in this age of kali yuga they are nothing but royal edition of animals you can release royal editions of motor bike motor bike remains motor bike it does not become helicopter <laughs> similarly royal edition of animal if you dress a dog very nicely you give him which is a nice shirt brand ha huh? zara huh? ya yeah, zara gucci or whatever you call you give him nice shirt and what is the jeans a uh, levis a uh, pepe jeans <laughs> you give him to wear very nicely you will tell he has become human being or he has become actor no <laughs> dog remains dog a royal edition of dog <laughs> so similarly by changing the externals one does not become a human being if the aim of life is simply to enjoy the senses then it is a royal edition of animals so that is why in order to give light what will happen it is very beautifully explained here krishna sudham upagate dharma gyana divisa kalau nashta drisham esha so people have become blind because of darkness of ignorance so purana arka adhuno ditah adhunami is recently udita means arisen a new purana has risen up in the sky and this is giving light to the people in kaliyuga and that purana is shrimad bhagavatam purana arka arka means sun sun is giving us light similarly this puran the sun of this puran puran arka adhuna udita it is giving us light so that is why prabhupad is mentioning shrimad bhagavatam is the samam bonam of life lord shri krishna personified so there is no difference between shrimad bhagavatam scripture and the personality of lord krishna just like any difficulty was there any demon would attack people would immediately take shelter of all the virjavasis they would take shelter of krishna and krishna would save indra is attacking they will take shelter krishna will save from indra bakasur is coming aghasur is coming he swallowed them up they all died but they were brought back to life so kaliya is coming krishna saved so krishna was always saving and shrimad bhagavatam is as powerful as krishna there is no difference at all so where is the difference the difference is in our consciousness at that time also people did not have faith in krishna so those people who did not have faith then krishna did not reciprocate also ye yatha mam prapadyante tan sathai bhajami ham that time also not everyone could put faith that is why duryodhana told no give me your army you remain okay no problem <laughs> i will manage i will manage with your army arjuna is crying he wants you to be on his side so no problem i will manage with your army you be on arjuna side anyway you are not fighting 
So Duryodhana was not able to understand. Similarly, the husbands of Dujpatnis, the Dvijas, they were not able to understand. The Yagyik Brahmanas were not able to understand. Although their wives were able to understand. So some people even at that time were not able to understand. But those who understood, Pandavas, they were always protected. Draupadi is being disrobed. She calls and then Krishna gives unlimited clothing. Then again Durvasa Muni goes, there is no food. Krishna goes and mystically all the 60,000 disciples of Durvasa Muni are satisfied. 10,000, 60,000, whatever. 60,000, yes. They all get satisfied immediately by wonder of Krishna. Similarly, Parishit Maharaj, the scion of the dynasty, was almost killed. Rather, he was also killed. Body was destroyed in the womb of Uttara. She came running towards Krishna and then Krishna saved. So in this way, Lord Krishna, when he was fighting with, Bhima was fighting with Jarasand, he told him, impossible, I cannot defeat him. <laughs> they fought for 30 days. Both are having equal strength, 10,000 elephants. So Bhima told Krishna, it is not possible, I cannot defeat him. <laughs> so he was not having knowledge, he was not having strength. So Krishna guided Bhima that this is the way Jarasand has to be killed. You have to pull his legs apart. In this way he was combined. This is the only way he can be killed. But will Jarasand agree? Okay, I am lying down now. Pull my legs apart. <laughs> no, he is also equally powerful. So Krishna gave Bhima extra strength also. So knowledge also was given and strength also was given. Then when Arjuna was about to get killed by Bhishma, he told, okay, I am preparing these arrows. Now Pandavas will be killed tomorrow. Unless, of course, Krishna saves. Because that is supernatural. <laughs> Otherwise, normally, no power in the universe can save Pandavas from dying tomorrow. I prepared these arrows, they will be killed. And Krishna already, he is all-knowing. So he told, those arrows are there, you will not survive tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> So go and beg. <laughs> so then uh, in this way Krishna guided. But then Bhishma anyway is very valiant. He told no problem. Without arrows only I will kill him. <laughs> he will not survive. Then Krishna had to break his promise. So in this way Krishna was always saving his devotees. Then Rukmani was about to get married. But then Krishna went and then Krishna kidnapped in this way, always Krishna was there at the rescue for his devotees. Arjuna promised to bring back the sons of Brahmana. Such sons of Brahmana were dying. And uh, Arjuna promised, I will commit suicide if I am not able to do it. Then there was no recourse. He was about to do suicide. And then Krishna told, don't worry. <laughs> and Krishna went to Mahavishnu. <laughs> Mahavishnu had hidden the sons of Brahmana along with Arjuna. Who can go to Mahavishnu? outside the universe, penetrating all the boundaries. So in this way, all the extraordinary acts were performed by the grace of Lord Krishna. Arjuna was always victorious, so much so that he was able to defeat Indra. He was able to please Lord Shiva also by his fighting skills. Extraordinary. Nobody in the universe could excel his skills. Although he was not so powerful, Bhishma, Karna, Drona, all were much, much more powerful. Arjuna was like a fig in front of them. But he was always able to defeat all these great fighters by the mercy of Lord Krishna. So in this way, Lord Krishna was always favoring his devotees. Any difficulty is there, but those who are devotees, who are having faith, and those who did not have faith, of course, then Krishna did not reciprocate. So Krishna entered along with Balram. When they were called to Mathura, Kansa created a plot. Let them come here, and then uh, I will kill them. He made various arrangements. So when they entered the city, they were seeing very nice buildings. They are from village. So very nice skyscrapers are there and city is there. So they were enjoying and then they saw now they have to wear nice clothes also. They are going to enter the arena. They met a dhobi, washerman and they told give me these nice clothes I want to wear. So dhobi told how can I give? They belong to somebody else. They belong to Kansa the king and then Krishna became very angry. So immediately, by his hand, he beheaded the dhobi. <laughs> Simply by striking from his hand. So that is Krishna. By any limb of his body, he can do anything. 
So some of them could not understand that he is supreme personality of Godhead. They were not willing to give him clothes also. So that is why the difference is in our consciousness. If we have faith, strong faith that Srimad Bhagavatam is incarnation of Krishna, then Srimad Bhagavatam is actually Krishna, factually Krishna. That is why Prabhupada tells in the matter of spiritual understanding, it is always a personal instruction. If I have faith, if I have faith that the Srimad Bhagavatam is personal instruction, whenever I read Srimad Bhagavatam, whenever, whenever I hear Srimad Bhagavatam, it is personal instruction coming from Krishna, then that is a personal instruction coming from the Supreme Lord. So that is why this faith is very, very important. It plays all the role. So I am associating with Krishna, I am associating with the devotees. Then this Bhagavatam will act exactly like Krishna. Just like people were delivered by the touch of Lord Krishna. Prostitute was there. She became completely purified, pure devotee by the touch of Krishna. Similarly, we can also become pure devotees, completely perfect by the touch of Srimad Bhagavatam. Puran Arko Dhunodita. Bhagavatam is as powerful as Lord Krishna. As worshipable and same. Here it is told Lord Sri Krishna personified. We must therefore accept Srimad Bhagavatam as the direct representation of Lord Krishna. One who can see Srimad Bhagavatam can see also Lord Krishna, Lord Sri Krishna in person. They are identical. There is no difference. So why we are discussing it today? Because now we are going to start the very, very important event of the year and that is called Srila Prabhupada Book Marathon Ki Jai. So we are going to have a marathon now. So in marathon people run. So in this marathon also we run. How do we run? With books. <laughs> Book marathon. So we have to run with books in this marathon. In marathon how many kilometers people cover? Yes? 40 kilometers. So here how much we have to run? What is our goal? So our goal is every person who is not having all the books of Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> we have to keep on running after them. <laughs> Till every person gets all the books of Prabhupada. <laughs> so in, of course, so there is no limit to it. So especially uh, that is why we regulate it for this month. Although throughout the day, throughout the year, people are distributing books, all the devotees across the world. But especially there is a transcendental competition in the month of December, which is called book marathon. Marathon means although people are walking, running every day, but this is focused, intense running. Similarly, this focused, intense effort to distribute books worldwide is called book marathon. And in this time, there is, uh, at this time, there is competition across all the temples, across all the devotees. So competition is very important, either for material or for spiritual life. Prabhupada's competition is life. Without competition, no life. That is why a person who was uh, very intelligent, he cracked all the examinations. So after that, he became depressed. He told, now there is no exam what I can crack. <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> so we like to compete. There is a competitive spirit. So this is important for spiritual life also. The Gopas, when they go to Krishna, they go to uh, the forest to have lunch with Krishna. They run towards Krishna and they have a competition. Who will touch Krishna first? <laughs> so like this, they are able to please Krishna. So Prabhupada also was very much pleased by this competition. This is very important. But the, in this competition, there is no jealousy. In material competition, there is jealousy. So country lost the match and people are crying. It means they are so jealous of the other party. How they can win? If the mother loses competition, any competition with her son, will mother cry? No, mother will not cry. Why? Because there is love. Because there is no love, there is crying. So much crying. How they can win? How I can lose? So this is called envy. So people are telling sports are meant for born homie friendship. But we see how much envy is being promoted in the name of. So there is all envy in the name of war or in the name of sports. <laughs> people hearts are burning. They are crying. If there is love, actually that friendly feeling is coming. Then you should dance when your opponent has won any match. But no, it does not happen. But in spiritual competition, yes, the devotee becomes very pleased when he sees, oh, somebody is doing better. He has got so much mercy of Krishna, but he competes so that I also can get that same mercy of Krishna. He prays to Lord Krishna. 
when will I get the same mercy that I, I can also serve like the other person? But competition is very much required. They are always striving. Let me also try to serve this like this devotee is doing. So for this, this event is very important. And otherwise, it's not a mundane event. People are suffering across the world. And it is the duty of uh, any person who is wishing to advance in spiritual life. So this DT worship, whatever we are doing, regular sadhana, that is very good. But this keeps a person on the Kanishta Adhikari platform. Archayam Ev Hariye. Archayam means DT worship. Yajante Shraddha Yehate. With great Shraddha, with great faith, Yajante, one who is worshipping the deities in the temple. But Natat Bhakteshu Chanyeshu. He does not know how to deal with devotees, how to give respect to devotees, how to preach. Then he is called Kanishta Adhikari. So that is why the Vedic process, it keeps a person on Kanishta Adhikari level. Pancharatir ki vidhi. But one has to come to Bhagavat Vidhi, chanting and hearing the transcendental process. By this process, a person is able to advance to the second level and that is called Madhyam Adhikari platform. So Prabhupada explains very nicely. Generally, people come to this temple, they are very devoted to the deity. They offer their respects, flowers and other things, make the regulatory process, circumambulate, this is nice beginning. But one has to go above this. One has to know who is actually bhakta, who is natat bhakteshu chanyeshu. One has to do good for others, that is madhyam adhikari. If I become satisfied only with these regulative principles for worshipping the deity in the temple and following the regulative principles daily, but I have no other idea, then sa bhakta prakrita smritaha. Prakrita means on the material platform. Such devotee can fall down at any moment because he is on the prakrita stage. And prakrita means this gunmai, prakriti, it is very strong. So any devotee can fall down if he remains prakrit bhakta. So any devotee who is very, very strict in his sadhana, who is getting up 4 o'clock in the morning, he is a perfect brahmana. Satyam, shama, dhamma, shaucham. His mind is perfectly controlled. Senses are perfectly controlled. Satyam, shama, dhamma, shaucham. Very, very clean. Taking bath three times in a day. Very, very forgiving. Does not take any offenses. Very, very tranquil. He always speaks truth. Is not afraid of death. Such a person also can fall down at any time because that is Prakrit stage. Sa bhakta prakrita smritaha. Prakrit means prakriti, material platform. Such a devotee can fall down at any time. And one who is not falling, what to speak of? <laughs> then. But even a person who is falling very, very rigidly. So all of us who are hearing this lecture, most of us must, must be following this very rigidly. We get up in the morning, we do our sadhana very nicely, we chant in here. We worship the deities. But if we are simply sticking to this process and we don't preach, then we can fall down at any time. So he has to raise himself above this in the Madhya Madhikar. So here it is said that Swa Nirmiteshu Nirvishto Bhungte Bhuteshu Tadgunan. So we are not enjoying actually, we are enjoying the interaction of the three modes of material nature and we are thinking the same thing. As my Guru Maharaj used to say that licking a bottle of honey, that is not real honey. So you have to open the bottle of the honey and lick up the real honey, then you will get taste. That advancement, of, that is advancement of spiritual knowledge. So thus if you want to actually taste the honey and not just lick the bottle. So here in this material life, there is no pleasure actually. People are simply licking the bottle and they are assuming that I am enjoying, but that is not fact. So if we have to get real taste, we have to enjoy the life, enjoy the spiritual life, then what we are supposed to do? Prabhupada is telling one has to raise himself to Madhyam Adhikari platform, come to the platform of preaching. It is very, very important. We might be doing any other activity very nicely, but unless we preach, Prema Maitri Kripa Upeksha, Kripa, showing favor to the people who are suffering in this world is very, very important. Just see, there is so much suffering in the world and there is no other solution. The solution is only this knowledge. Otherwise, in the name of helping people are as we are discussing. Sense gratification is nothing but poison. 
drinking poison and giving poison. This is what is happening in this world. Philanthropy means you give poison and crime means you steal poison. There is nothing else which is happening in the world. That is why everyone is suffering. Philanthropist is also suffering. Other person is also suffering. So thus we have the solution. We have the perfect solution. People become completely happy and satisfied by this. That is why we have many, many examples where people were about to finish their life. One person decided, I want to die in the car. He blocked that exhaust pipe so that carbon monoxide can come inside. He closed the, all the screens. And then he was finally comfortably relaxing. That very soon the insides of the car will be filled with monoxide. I will have a very peaceful death. And then suddenly one book distributor came and he started showing book. <laughs> you don't know, I'm not interested, go away. <laughs> but then the devotees are very insistent. So anyway, he left one small book there on his windshield. So then he became curious. And what was the title? Beyond Birth and Death. So it was very relevant. I'm going to die. <laughs> what will happen after that? Let me read and die. <laughs> So that is why it is, <laughs> he became inquisitive. <laughs> so then he opened and he started reading it. And then he also joined the temple, became devotee. <laughs> and what to speak of other devotees, even His Grace Madhu Pandit Prabhu, senior most devotee, he is a Padma Shri. How many people have got spiritually and materially benefited by him? There is no count. Lacks and lacks of people every day are getting spiritual and material benefit. And he himself was going to commit suicide, leave his body. Just imagine what a great loss it would have been. And just one day prior to committing suicide, he reads Krishna book. <laughs> and then we see the result. One book. Who would have thought that placing this book in library in this institute of technology will bring such a change in the world that somebody will read and then he'll become such a powerful devotee and such extraordinary preaching will happen. Preserving the legacy of Srila Prabhupada. The original intent, the final order got lost completely. How it was saved, how we were able to accept Srila Prabhupada as initiating spiritual master. Extraordinary contribution. And how this happened? It is the work of simply one book. That's it. So how this book can be very, very powerful. Of course, it has to go to right hands also. If you give the formula of making atomic bomb to nuclear scientist, he can immediately create it. Extraordinary impact. But if you give it to a person who is not knowledgeable, he might not be able to produce the desired result immediately. But nevertheless, the book has gone to the person who has not qualified also, he will become qualified. And those who are qualified by virtue of their previous activity or causeless mercy in this life, immediately, dry wood, Immediately it is ignited when it comes in contact with fire. Wet wood, it is also good. It is in touch with fire, it is getting dry. Once it is dry, it will get ignited. But these books are extraordinarily powerful. Similarly, movements have been established in the country, as in the Myanmar also. So I'll just read this thing, how it happened. So this was covered by the Frontier magazine. So in 1980, Shivas Pandit Das, an engineering student at the Rangoon Institute of Technology, home on summer holidays in Moulmain, now called Molim Yin, Molim Yin, found an old magazine on his parents' bookshelf. So magazine itself is so powerful. The chain of events that followed resulted in the establishment of Myanmar branch of ISKCON, popularly known as the Hare Krishna movement. During his youth, Das, though raised Hindu, was not actively religious. The magazine he found at his parents' home, an issue of the monthly Hare Krishna publication Back to Godhead, was a gift from the family friend who had visited the US. And how it came from US, this magazine? These people from Myanmar had gone there, they follow Buddhism there. So devotees are distributing books. They told, no, no, we are Buddhists. They told, yes, yes, this is about Buddhism only. <laughs> so, 
so surprisingly because uh, yes there is a, <laughs> there was this article in keshav dhrita buddha sharira somehow lord buddha's name was mentioned or the image was there because he is one of the incarnation so he also saw, saw okay buddha's picture is there must be this buddhism and when he saw it was completely something different so it all this of no use <laughs> but then yes we have a hindu friend back home in myanmar we can give it to him might be he will take interest in this subject <laughs> so devotees were very expert in this thing so they were giving books one person told no i am dentist yes it is about dentistry only <laughs> this <one. laughs> like this they would sell books so of course prabhu patel that is not the perfect way you try to preach on the platform of absolute truth and distribute books but anyway devotees would do all kinds of things to give books because they were competing <laughs> so then this devotee uh, these doctors they came back from america and then this book came to this person father of this devotee but father also did not read and this was was taking dust for many many years it was taking many years but it is time bomb <laughs> when it will explode nobody knows das believes that when he first opened it the magazine had been gathering dust for nearly a decade for a decade it was gathering dust flipping through the pages he noticed a mail order slip for a free copy of book called coming back i thought why not free gift there is no harm <laughs> he filled out his name and address posted the slip and promptly forgot okay somebody is telling free so he applied a few months later while he was eating chapatis with his grandmother a foreigner man showed up at the door At that time, most foreign visitors were granted twenty-four hour visas. Only twenty-four hours. This devotee had got. So this man had precious little time remaining when he arrived at Mool Main. He introduced himself. I am a Hare Krishna disciple. Handed over the copy of Coming Back that Das had ordered. So after ten years, he is placing that. It reached, and then he eventually this devotee reaches, gives him a copy. He also taught Das the Hare Krishna mantra, like this. You chant, gave him the cassette tape, and promised to return in six months. After the visitor departed, Das played the tape. Prabhupada was singing one prayer for Lord Jagannath, and his sound, his vibration touched my heart. Tears started coming from my eyes, and I did not know why. This is called spiritual contact. Das who is now the leader of Myanmar's Hare Krishna movement and addressed as Saya Do by followers considers that moment as a turning point in his life quotes Prabhupa said if you distribute this book it will act as a miracle unquote he said he was right the book works through its channel that's how my life changed one book one slip the whole movement in Myanmar came from that book so we can just see how it is so powerful so one book created movement in a country like this unlimited story you will find online how one book how person was inimical who was stomping upon the book and pushing the devotees out of the train and uh, such a person also became a full time devotee later <laughs> who wanted to tear the book stomped upon the book he hit the devotees showed the devotees pushed them out of the train the distributor poor mata ji almost she got a fracture and such a person became devotee later so this is the mercy of lord chaitanya chan kazi who was kansa's incarnation so he also became pure devotee <laughs> similarly another devotee who joined in hkm mumbai he also when he got prabhupas book he tore apart the book and threw it away and then after many many years he read another book of prabhupad and then he became a full time devotee <laughs> so the person who is acted so demoniacally that he has torn apart the book thrown the book away such a greatest offense he also is becoming devotee this is chaitanya mahaprabhu's mercy anybody who comes in contact directly indirectly for good or for bad everyone becomes devotee everyone becomes completely purified sooner or later so some of people should come in contact with similarly there is this another story so this was the couple and they were found by a group of devotees in shri rangam temple 
they were looking for the place where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet are worshipped in Sri Rangam temple. So they were naturally curious how these uh, Russians, they have become so much attracted to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that they come from Russia looking for his lotus feet. And he told I, he was in the most extraordinary profession. It is told, Vina Puman Virajeta, Vina Pashugnath. Anybody who will not appreciate the Srimad Bhagavatam, anybody will appreciate but a butcher, a meat eater, Pashugnath, who is killing animals. And this Prabhuji was actually a butcher who became a devotee. <laughs> so, butchers cannot understand it is told. A butcher cannot only appreciate this knowledge. Everybody else will. Meat eater, animal killer, they are bereft of all spiritual understanding. But how so many meat eaters, especially this person was a butcher, he was killing. So he told, once when I came out of doing my regular business, I was sitting outside and uh, there I found some pages, uh, torn pages of, mostly it was Science of Self-Realization book. And then he was so much captivated by reading those pages and he got very much inquisitive. I want to understand from where these pages have come. So he approached the people who had torn that book. <coughs> that <laughs> from where you got this book? He told these people, some Asians, they came here and they were singing. They gave us this book, but this is in English. They wanted to have it in Russian. So that is why we have torn it. <laughs> no, but I want to meet these people. Where can I find them? He told, he told they have gone down the way. They are singing, dancing, you'll find them. <coughs> so that he what he approached, they, <coughs> they were doing Sankirtan. And he actually found them and he spoke for six hours with the devotees on that day. And that day itself, he gave this job of butchery. And uh, then he went back, he preached his wife and they preached their relatives, sorry, neighbors, and all of them became devotees. <laughs> so just see how powerful it is. The torn pages and many people like this have got the torn pages or some expert excerpt of the book. And then they explored the whole book. They came in touch with devotees. And thus, many, many here also, many of us would have had the same experience. How by reading the books, our lives have got changed. So here we have, at least we have two devotees who come for our classes regularly. One of them is full-time devotee. So how you got the book? From the Raddi shop. So many people, they give away old books, you know, for, by weighing it as a normal, you know, we discard some plastics and newspapers. <laughs> so at throwaway price, they give it to Raddi person. And the book was lying there, Prabhupada's book. Uh, so one devotee found uh, Prabhupada's biography, another person, he got Bhagavad Gita. And they read and they became devotees and full-time devotee now. <laughs> How this book could be so powerful. Person has discarded it. <laughs> and a discarded book is also playing magic. It is creating full-time brahmachari. <laughs> so like this, extraordinary things have happened by the distribution of these literatures. Individuals, the people who could have never have taken, they have become devotees. The people who have uh, received, they have created movements in their own countries. Entire countries have become devotees by reading this book. So like this in Istanbul also one devotee got, we have this video you would have seen on the YouTube channel, how this devotee got this book. So like this, so many extraordinary events have taken place. And apart from this, yes, it is very important. The whole world is suffering. There is no other remedy. The remedy is Puran Arko Dhuno Ditaha. The only cause of suffering in our life. If by following spiritual life, I am also not completely happy and satisfied. It means I am not worshipping Bhagavatam nicely. How do we worship Bhagavatam? Yes, literally also the books can be worshipped and specifically it is worshipped by reading very nicely and distributing it to others. Krishna tells one who reads Bhagavad Gita, he worships him by his intelligence. So that is why we have to have faith in Bhagavatam and read Bhagavatam with great uh, implicit understanding that Bhagavatam is Krishna himself. So one who is very eager with this eagerness that I want to associate with Lord Krishna, with this eagerness a person is hearing Bhagavatam. And when we speak of hearing, hearing means reading also. Reading means we are hearing our own voice. So when one is very, very eager to hear Bhagavatam, then one is very able to see 
ಸದ್ಯೋ ಹೃದಯ ವೃದ್ಯತೆ ಅತ್ರ ಕೃತಿವಿ ಶುಶ್ರೂಷು ಭಿಸ್ ತತ್ಕ್ಷಣಾತ್ ಹೃದಿ ಅವರುದ್ಯತೆ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಚರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡನರಿ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ರೆಮಿಡಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಲಿಟ್ರೇಚರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೈ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೀಚ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಿಟ್ರೇಚರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವೇ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಟಾಕ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ವಾಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಯು ಪ್ರೀಜ್ ಮೀ ಹಿ ಪ್ರೀಜ್ ಮೀ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಮೆನಿ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಗೇವ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ and it is essential for ourselves also if we don't preach we don't distribute books then we can fall down any time so that is why we see the people who are very expert in reading and distributing books they remain very stable they advance very nicely in their spiritual life that is called madhyam adhikari platform preacher one who is giving this knowledge to others and of course we know for quick recognition it is mentioned in the end of bhagavad gita that nacha tasmad manushyeshu kashin me priyakritamaha so in order to get quick recognition from krishna prabhu patels we should distribute this knowledge to others krishna tells nobody is dearer than the person who distributes this to others very quickly we are able to get recognition and apart from this the entire substance of spiritual life is pleasure of spiritual master so we have to know what pleases our spiritual master the most so thus shila prabhupad explains and not just him his spiritual master also prabhupad writes because somebody wrote to prabhupad that prabhupad in our temple they are telling that everyone has to distribute books even pujari also needs to go out and distribute books if they have to please you is this fact so prabhupad responds actually it is a fact that ultimately everyone should preach and distribute books if they want to please me in the best way book distribution must be given stress always he has spoken the right thing so prabhupad is telling he is right <laughs> everyone one who is doing internal temple services also they should also take out time whenever and wherever possible he has spoken the right thing if you do this sincerely it is a fact that krishna will supply everything else required krishna will supply everything else required i blindly follow my guru maharaj i do not know what is the result so what was prabhupad's instruction uh, bhakti sdans maharaj's instruction to prabhupad whenever you have money print books so whenever prabhupad got money he printed books with printed books he went to america now there is no money only books are there so with those books prabhupad somehow he survived and then he was preaching and uh, then when disciples came they started doing sankirtan they started raising some funds funds came and then what is supposed to be done with funds suppose we get money we were surviving somehow we are distributing books and for that month we were able to raise rent in this way we are surviving on every month just to pay our rent we have to sell some books there is nothing else with us some money comes to us now what shall we do we'll try to find some stability do something else but prabhupad what did he do immediately printed books and that time nobody was able to distribute books it was very difficult so when the money came prabhupad printed teachings of lord chaitanya and this thing and the temples were full of stocks and nobody had any idea because now of course we are distributing books because we see that it is doable when i was distributing books for the first time i was wondering whether people take books or not <laughs> is it doable activity entire day i was able to distribute just two three books so all day i was standing for 6 7 hours so i thought is this doable activity somebody will take ever and devotees were maximum they were going out with back to worded magazines only magazines they were giving and they were wondering these thick books big books who will take but still prabhupad told no my guru maharaj has told whenever you get money print books so i will print books so he printed and there was stock in the temple and devotees were wondering what shall we do with this who will take this books but prabhupad tells no i blindly follow my guru maharaj i do not know what is the result so i am stressing on this point of book distribution he told me this personally 
बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज भागवत मार्ग एंड टेम्पल वर्शिप इज पंच की विधि बोथ आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर कल्टिवेटिंग वैष्णविज्म बट कंपेरिटिवली स्पीकिंग भागवत मार्ग इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन पंच की विधि As far as possible, both should go on in parallel lines. But still, Bhagavat Marg is more important than the other. So you are all intelligent boys. You should judge the desire of my Guru Maharaj and help me in that way. Letter to Sri Govinda, nineteen seventy-four. So Prabhupada told you are intelligent. You should try to judge the desire of my Guru Maharaj. So for a disciple, there is nothing more important in life than order of the spiritual master, especially for. Exalted devotees like Shila Prabhupad, that is their life and soul. Vaisya Atme ka buddhi. Let me die, but order of my Guru Maharaj should be fulfilled. I should try. So, if we help Prabhupad in fulfilling the order of his Guru Maharaj, how much Prabhupad would be pleased by this? So, thus Prabhupad tells he should try to judge the desire of my Guru Maharaj and help me in this work. So Bhagavat Marg and Pancharatri ki vidhi means temple worship, worshiping the deities, and book distribution, reading books, distributing books. Both processes are important. But if we have choice of following only one, then we will follow Bhagavat Vidhi. Prabhupada told. That is why when the disciples told Prabhupada, we have to do temple worship, so we are not able to go out. Prabhupada told, put a lock in the temple. But in the evening, all of you should be out. Go out for. Sankirtan. Sankirtan means book distribution. So you should go out for Sankirtan. Lock the temple, but you go out. So ideally, we should not do this. Prabhupada was giving principle. But if there is chance that I can do only one thing, I cannot do other, then no problem. This is how the devotees uh, preach for a long time. Even now, they are doing preaching in countries like China and Russia. Temples were not allowed. It was very difficult. Festivals they have to celebrate. It was a crime. Police would come and arrest the devotees. They were not allowed to celebrate festivals. Also, <laughs> they'll find a place, close all the doors so that loud noise doesn't go outside. But then police will do raids, arrest the devotees. It was so tough. But still, book distribution was always going on. They were always doing this activity, and they were feeling also tremendous spiritual advancement, great taste in spiritual life. So this is extraordinary process. So sometimes when we are not advanced, we give more importance to. Deity worship in the temple that is important, and unless we do it, there is a Prabhupad also told you chant very nicely and sing and dance in front of deities, and by their mercy will be successful in preaching in book distribution. But if there is choice that I cannot do other thing, I have only one option, then it does not matter. So that we can do later. But this reading, hearing, and distribution of books is most important. It is Bhagavat Vedi. This is the verdict of Bhakti Sdan Maharaj and Shri La Prabhupada. So the Saracharyas are satisfied by this work. And another very important thing is, as we have understood, it is told everywhere. Lord Rishabh Dev's famous verse that this human life is meant for austerity. Tapo divyam putra ka yena satvam. So many times the devotees uh, they discuss that these material desires are very strong. and this lust is very strong in my heart how to get freedom from lust i am not able to understand i am doing everything so in order to get freedom from these material desires austerity is required these desires they are there in the heart because of rajaguna and tamaguna so shuddha ye satva man has to purify the existence heart has to become pure and how the heart becomes pure tapo divyam putra ka yen shuddha ye satva heart becomes pure by tapo divyam tapasya so tapasya is very much required so thus it is mentioned sa itham bhakti yogena tapo yuktena parthivah sva dharmena harim prinam sarvan kaman shanair jahau the king of this planet maharaj amrish thus performed devotional service to the lord and in this endeavor practiced severe austerity always satisfying the supreme personality of godhead by his constitutional activities he gradually gave up all material desires sarvan kama shanai jaho shanai means gradually sarvan kama all the material desires he gave up how tapo yuktena parthivah bhakti yogena doing bhakti yoga by tapo yuktena engaging in austerity So Amrish Maharaj also took tremendous austerity. So Prabhupada explains severe austerities in the practice of devotional service are of many varieties. 
so severe austerities are required in devotional service also and they are of many varieties for example in worshiping the deity in the temple there are certainly laborious activities if you have to do every day dressing of the deity bathing the deities so many rules regulations you have to follow its austerity in this way one must be constantly engaged in various activities and the hard labor involved is certainly an austerity similarly the hard labor involved in preaching preparing literature preaching to the atheistic men and distributing literature door to door is of course an austerity tapo yuktena such austerity is necessary so prabhupada is telling such austerities in this publishing books distributing books door to door is an austerity and that is necessary by such austerity yena satvam shuddhayet by such austerity in devotional service one is purified of material existence kaman shanair jahau indeed such austerity leads one to the constitutional position of devotional service in this way one can give up material desires and as soon as one is freed from material desires he is free from repetition of birth and death old age and disease so prabhupada is telling this austerity is necessary by doing such austerities what happens one is able to give up material desires in this way one can give up material desires and as soon as one is free from material desires he is free from repetition of birth and death old age and disease so does this austerity krishna wants to see how much pains we are taking definitely it is not comfortable to go out speak to strangers go door to door they may laugh at us mock at us and may speak unkind words and sometimes when i was uh undergoing training in bangalore so another devotee on book distribution he got slapped also and then after initiation we went to another place for preaching then also the devotee was approaching there also he got slapped unfortunately <laughs> poor devotee <laughs> but he is not poor that is special mercy krishna gave him chance so in the service of krishna devotees have taken slaps also so that happens so physically also there will be attacks there will be verbal attacks and so many other things happening so all this is austerity we will be insulted very very badly but all this is austerity we don't like to hear insults but this is necessary for our purification prabhupada is telling and when we take austerity then we see there is one can perceive advancement in spiritual life so that is our process we need not question whether i am advancing in spiritual life or not we will perceive spiritual advancement however to perceive advancement we have to have austerity such kind of positive austerity engagement in devotional service distributing the literature and then ultimately we all want to go back to godhead so there is very nice instance so prabhupada that visited uh, the place and i think they were german devotees or from some other country they were expert book distributors and they were introduced to prabhupad one by one each boy came in to meet prabhupad and when we were all there prabhupad said you are gems so he was very happy with the book distributors with, with the devotees all of them who had come you are a hundred percent engaged in devotional service you are all brahmacharis and you are selling my books thank you very much just do your level headed best i felt great relief when i heard this because i was under a lot of pressure on that party the devotees pushed us hard and hyped us hyped us up to sell prabhupad books but prabhupad said just do your level headed best and the idea of level headed sunk into me i thought this is logical and spiritual this is the truth prabhupad only wants our level headed best one devotee asked prabhupad if we die on sankirtan will we go back home back to godhead <laughs> so prabhupad said whatever state the mind is in at the time of death that state you will attain if you think of krishna and you die on sankirtan you go back to godhead if you don't think of him then maybe not everyone in the room sighed they hadn't gotten what they had wanted <laughs> they thought prabhupad will tell yes you die on sankirtan you will go 
back to worded Prabhupada quoted verse. Yam yam vapis manan bhav. No, if you think of Krishna while you die, you will go to Krishna. Otherwise, maybe not. So devotees were not very pleased to hear this. Then Prabhupada said, but I promise you this. If you distribute my books until your dying day, Lord Chaitanya will personally come and take you back home, back to Godhead. Then the devotees were relieved. Ah. <laughs> and there is another practical instance also. One devotee actually wanted to test. So there was a book distributor who distributed books till his last day and he was dying. So he wanted to test. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes we are a little doubtful. And uh, this devotee was always carrying a rock of Gordhan Shila with him. And when he was dying, then suddenly his face lit up. And then he told, he has come, he has come. So he asked, who has come? <laughs> he told, Lord Chaitanya has come. And the devotee, he left his body and surprisingly, Gordhan Shila also disappeared. It was not found. <laughs> so anyway, so it is Prabhupada's guarantee. Lord Krishna is there to fulfill the vow of his devotees. So thus Prabhupada has given very clear mandate that if you distribute books till your dying day, Lord Chaitanya will personally come and take you back to Godhead. So thus we understand. So Prabhupada has written in uh, Srimad Bhagavatam that in Krishna consciousness movement, all our activities are concentrated upon distributing Krishna literature. This is very important. One may approach any person and induce him to read Krishna literature so that in the future, he also may become a devotee. Such activities are recommended in this verse. Kriyasu yatva charanaravindayo. Such activities will always remind the devotees of the Lord's lotus feet. By fully concentrating on distributing books for Krishna, one is fully absorbed in Krishna. This is Samadhi. So when we are able to always be in Samadhi, think of lotus feet of Krishna in the heart, then we are on perfect spiritual platform. And how this state can be attained? Prabhupada told not artificially, but by concentrating on distributing books. Krishna becomes pleased by Sankirtan and he becomes visible. Artificially, if you want to see Krishna, no. When devotees engage in tapasya, austerity, for many, many years, Krishna gave darshan. He gave darshan to Sutapa, Krishna Garba, he gave darshan to Dhru Maharaj, he gave darshan to many devotees by rigorous austerity. So if we also do this austerity of book distribution, Kriyasu yatva charanaravindayo, manual labor, manual labor it is told here. By practical work, then Krishna becomes visible in the heart. This is called samadhi. When one is always absorbed in distributing books. So thus it is most extraordinary activity we should do always, but especially in this month, in a competitive spirit, we should try to take it up. So thus all of you who wish to participate, we have created website also, WS Kirtan. Those who are hearing online also, we'll share the link. So you can register there and, and ranks will be displayed on daily basis. The scores will be updated in teams. You can participate or as an individual, you can participate, but please try to participate and try to get very good rank in this competition. Apply your intelligence, encourage others also to do, encourage others also to become book distributors, not just take few books and uh, explain them. It is told directly in the verse. Kalau nashta drishamesha, when devotees asked, were lying, doing all kinds of things, Prabhupada told, I never lied to distribute books. So Prabhupada told, you should preach this verse. Which verse you should preach? Krishna Svadhaam Upakate Dharma Jnana Adivisa. This is written on the front cover of Bhagavatam, first volume. Krishna has gone to his own abode. Who will give knowledge now? Light to people? Puran Arka, the son of Bhagavati. It is incarnation of Krishna. So all the miseries of the life, Shokha Moya, Moha Bhayapaha, Shok, all lamentation, moha, all illusion, bhaya, all fear, apaha, will be removed from the life by the effect of this incarnation, Srimad Bhagavatam. So we have to read very, very carefully with great faith and distribute also with great faith. And then Prabhupada will be pleased. So that is why Prabhupada had to give balancing quotes otherwise. No, cooking is also book distribution. That is also preaching. And collecting money is also preaching. Deity worship is also preaching because devotees became so much focused on book distribution. So yes, this is preaching book, dis but others also, because if nobody cooks, who will, how devotees will eat and go out. So we should nevertheless do that. But uh, the devotees who are engaged in other services also, sometime when they get, so they should try to go out, they should try to do something as far as possible.
So we'll end here. Any questions? Yes. 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 So the question is uh, how an offender, the greatest offender, can become a devotee? who is tearing apart the pages, which is the greatest offense. So this is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Directly or offensively, somehow you come in contact, he will make you devotee. <laughs> that is why he is called most benevolent. That is why Prabhupada told, people are criticizing us, Hare Krishna. So especially at that time, uh, in Bollywood, Devananji had made a movie. In that uh, movie, there was a song which was apparently, not apparently, it was actually insulting the movement. Dam Marudam Mid Jayagam Bolo Subasham Hare Krishna Hare. Dam means you smoke, have a puff. And then you smoke, and then uh, in this intoxicated manner, you sing Hare Krishna. <laughs> so people are thinking this is Hare Krishna movement. These people are smokers and drunkards, and in intoxication, they are chanting Hare Krishna. And when foreigners would come to India, then even children would uh, make fun of them, chant Dam Marudam Hare Krishna. <laughs> So they were not able to understand what is this thing happening. <laughs> so one devotee one day decided, I have to see this. What is happening in this movie? He got to know from this movie, this song is coming. Everyone is singing. Wherever we go, the children are running on the streets. Dham Marudam, they are singing Hare Krishna. <laughs> and there was no other way. The televisions also were rare in those days in India. And what to speak of watching a movie? No Netflix, Hotstar or other things were there. YouTube. So he entered the movie theater. And then the movie started with this uh, footage of Grand Ratha, very big uh, Rath Yatra festival. They, it all very nicely they have shown the movement. And then later he got to know how <laughs> in a very negative way they had presented. And they gave the impression that all the hippies only they are in this movement. They do intoxication, drugs, and then they chant Hare Krishna. So then they went to Prabhupada. That Prabhupada, this is happening. What do we do? So Prabhupada told, does not matter. So this Dham Marodam is material. It will not sustain. This Hare Krishna will sustain. <laughs> this spiritual. <laughs> so after some years, they actually noticed people forgot Dham Marudam, Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. People continued. <laughs> there is no taste in that Dham Marudam. Hare Krishna, we get actual transcendental taste. So thus Prabhupada told, people are criticizing us. Newspapers are publishing this. Hare Krishna is bad. But they are chanting Hare Krishna. So there we are successful. <laughs> they are getting purified. At least they have written Hare Krishna. So those who are criticizing us, they are also advancing in spiritual life. So this is mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Online? Hare Krishna Prabhu. In previous class, you said that we can't be Maharaj, Nanda Maharaj, or Yashoda, yeah. yes. or Gopi, because they are expansion of Krishna only. So if any devotee advances, what we become? The question is, we discussed in previous class, we cannot become Nand Maharaj, Yashoda Mai or the gopis because they are expansions of Krishna's person, personal body. So if we advance in spiritual life, what do we become? So we become servants of these devotees or servants of servants of servants of these devotees. The lower we go, servant of servant, more advanced is the platform. That is spiritual life. So our wish is not to become immediate servant, but devotee is very humble. He thinks, what is my devotion? So, how will I please Krishna by? How will it do any good if I please Krishna directly? I have no devotion. So, let me become servant of servant of servant. These servants are pleasing Krishna very nicely. Let me become servant of servant. This is the mood of the devotee. So, the devotee develops the same affection which these devotees are having. And then it does not matter. The enjoyment that we have is because of the affection that we are carrying in the heart. So, the devotee is able to develop the same affection with Nan Maharaj, Yashoda, my gopis or the gopas are having. Yes. So, Guru, uh, many times we 
Yes. Or sometimes for why there is no my myself and I don't know my philosophy. Or I have done dance uh competition to their place. So what can be said about it? So Prabhupada explains. So Prabhupada is writing to Mangalmay and Madhupuri, uh, Grahastha devotees, very sincere devotees, 1972. My dear Mangalmay Das and Madhupuri Dasi. So they were very much engaged and uh, dedicated devotees. Please accept my blessings. I beg to acknowledge receipt of your letter of January 30, 1972. Along with the very nice poem entitled Birth of Lord Krishna, I am very pleased to hear that you are feeling yourselves very much satisfied in Krishna consciousness. One thing in Nairobi, I went there with Madhu Dusha Swami, something Prabhupada is writing, not relevant. So you can disregard the second initiation beads and, and the beads may be kept by you. Somehow twice they got the beads. So Prabhupada is telling this thing. Then Prabhupada writes, I am glad to hear <clears throat> that along with your incense business, you are also finding opportunity to preach. So they were doing some business so that they can help the movement. So they are full-time grasthas and Prabhupada suggests that grastha couples, they also can live together in temple, but husband and wife should not live together. Temple is not meant for that. So grastha couples, uh, they can live closer to temple. And they also can have uh, a building where many, many grahastha couples are living. In this way, if we live together in the association of devotees, we will make very fast advancement. So those who are living outside, they also should live together. Nearby, you can take houses or in Mumbai, we have societies, apartments. Try to live closely with other devotees. That is what Prabhupada is recommending here. And then Prabhupada is suggesting something that you can work in the incense factory and take some small salary for your maintenance. In this way, have a simple life and be satisfied. So these devotees were doing incense business to support the movement. But Prabhupada writes, I am glad to hear that along with your incense business, you are also finding opportunity to preach. But they were also finding time to preach. Prabhupada did not tell. You simply do business and that is very nice. You are contributing to the movement. Then Prabhupada writes, without preaching, and if you do, if we only do business, then there is certain fall down. So Prabhupada tells, without preaching, and if we only do business, there is certain. So Prabhupada has given certainty that you will see lotus feet of Krishna. You will go back to Godhead if you do this thing. And if you do not do this thing, then Prabhupada tells, there is certain. Certain means guaranteed. So if you don't preach, you do only business. So business means because they were doing business, if we are doing our jobs only or whatever our works, and without preaching, we don't find time to preach, then there is certain fall down. Prabhupada is telling. So this is for the devotees who are living for the movement only, initiated devotees. And what to speak of devotees who contribute just a portion of their money to Krishna. They are doing everything else, not fully dedicated. How much conscious they should be for engaging this in this activity. So thus it is written here, without preaching and if you do only business, there is certain fall down. So that is why Prabhupada was very, very particular uh, for the devotees that... Uh, Sometimes when devotees would get busy with management uh, because there is a lot of managerial work and uh, uh, of course Lord Chaitanya Prabhupada gives also one should not be scared of this management. In this age of Kali Yuga we have to do a lot of managerial work. Normally we would get otherwise entangled but here we will not get entangled. But if you do only management and no preaching that is not good policy. So Prabhupada told you preach. Preaching is like head. If head is there body is fit. So if you preach very nicely, there will be no dearth of resources. Everything will be sent by Krishna and management will follow like a shadow. So all management problems will be solved if you simply focus on preaching, Prabhupada tells. So managers were most busy. Even the topmost manager who was managing entire book distribution of the world. So Hare Krishna movement had no other activity but book distribution. 
except bare minimum devotees the cooks and the pujaris they would stay in the temple otherwise everyone was out entire day and we can just imagine how much pressure would have been on the person who is managing international affairs of book distribution secretary of bbt to him also prabhupad told at least two days in a week you also should go out for distributing books otherwise how much management you will do at least two days in a week you also should go out so when the most busy person has been told that you should go out we can understand how others for others it is very important so thus it is not a good policy otherwise we can see it is not proof if proof of pudding is in eating it so we can see if we don't indulge in preaching in this book distribution then what happens we can see there is stagnancy in our life we remain on the same platform for many years there is no taste in spiritual life we wonder process is working also or not why because this is required austerity tapasya preach and especially book distribution carrying out the orders and if you do this activity then again you see after participating in marathon again you see your spiritual level after that immediately we will see immediately there is no uh, question there is no doubt we will see the result we can test for ourselves so thus if anybody is giving such thing then fall down is certain it is just a matter of time so we should never neglect so we'll finish here okay online one question Is not the process by Shastra. If Govardhan Hill is Krishna himself, then why cake is decorated as Govardhan Hill and we cut? So there are two questions here. One question is why we are doing cake cutting ceremony if that is not there in the Shastras. So in Shastras, uh, Zoom class is also not mentioned. <laughs> YouTube class is also not mentioned. You take classes on YouTube. <laughs> but we are in shastras the principles are mentioned so thus prabhupada tells all the modern media should be used for distribution of literatures without that otherwise it is much nonsense otherwise we should do it in uh, so that is why distributing ice cream is also not recommended but prabhupada distributed ice creams also to devotees as prasadam and rather the same question was asked to shila prabhupada that prabhupada whether there was cake cutting in vedic culture important question <laughs> so prabhupada uh, paused for a while and then he told whether you cut it with a knife or a finger how does it make any difference <laughs> so by nice uh, knife cakes were not there but cakes were always there by knife you are not cutting so you cut cut by knife or you cut by finger <laughs> how does it make any difference jagannath uh, in chaitanya charitamrita that is description that now also if you go to anand bazar so many cakes you will find they make nice cakes for krishna so this cake was always there krishna is also having cakes the cakes are made out out of salted cakes are there sweet cakes are also there so this cakes were always made for, for a very long time they have been made so now this cake you can cut with spoon or a knife or with finger how does it make any difference so that is why the we are not violating any principle in cutting the cake this first thing and uh, second thing is uh, govardhan is not different from krishna we decorate the govardhan in the form of krishna and uh, then we cut it now how is it justified so i also think uh, it is not justified but somewhere some devotees give argument that other devotees are doing it so why we don't do it so there is discussion so i am not in favor of it i think we should not cut the cake but some other devotees think it should be cut so what to do so that is why we follow the authorities so the devotees will discuss so that is why this is most important principle that we follow the authorities whatever devotees are telling so this is a very good thing but then we see other devotees have been doing it so we have to find out why they have been doing it what is the reason for them doing it so uh, that is why uh, we have right to have our opinion our opinion may be true also in course of time might also be wrong in course of time but we should learn how to follow the authorities always 
So that is why Prabhupada is military discipline. Whatever the officer says, that should be followed. So thus we are discussing it. And uh, uh, let's see, probably next time we may not cut or we may cut. But I also agree with you. I also think it is not the right thing. Govardhan is not different from Krishna. Why we should cut it? It is very respectable. This time we did not do? Okay, so I was not there in the... I was I was speaking to some other devotees. Probably this time it is not there. But uh, he might be connected to some other center. In some other centers we are doing. So why they are doing? So thus we are waiting. Uh, whatever devotees, they give us their direction, conclusion, we will follow that. So ultimately nobody is trying to uh, uh, not follow deliberately. But some topics are like that. So it may take time to come to a conclusive understanding. Yeah. Last question. What should we say? We pray to Srila Prabhupada and Lord and no one is partaking books. How to not get depressed during such time? How not to get depressed when nobody is taking book? What do we pray? Uh, so we should not get depressed because Prabhupada tells results are not in our hands. Krishna also told to Arjuna, if you win, you will rule. If you lose, you will go to heaven <laughs> if you die. <laughs> Krishna did not tell, I will save you, you will not die. No problem, no. Anything can happen. But if we try to distribute, we make spiritual advancement. So our spiritual advancement does not depend on whether he is taking or she is taking or not. I should be concerned with my advancement also. I should pray, yes, other person is not receiving the mercy. For them, I should pray. But then I should be satisfied if I am putting serious efforts, Prabhupada and Krishna are pleased. So use your intelligence, level-headed best. The result does not come, no problem. Let us try, we'll become expert, take guidance of the devotees. We'll finish here. Grantra Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai Jagat Guru Srila Prabhupada ki Transcendental Srila Prabhupada Book Distribution Program ki Srila Prabhupada Book Marathon ki jai